Hey there awesome people, I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, I'll show you or teach you the best optimization tips and tricks for Filmora 15. Now, if this is the first time you're watching my videos or the first time you're visiting my channel, then please do consider subscribing to my channel as I bring in more videos related to Filmora as this is Filmora Made Easy. And guess what guys, less than 3% of you amazing people are subscribed to my channel, which is very disappointing, but still I create videos as I love creating videos and I really hope that we will grow slow but steady strong so yeah like I said if this is the first time please do consider subscribing all right so the first thing that what we will be doing today for optimizing our Filmora 15 for the best performance and also for the best quality is checking our updates because a lot of the times we just stick to the older version of Filmora I don't know why if you're using Filmora 12 13 14 or anything as such then make sure you're on um, you know Filmora 15 and even though if you're in Filmora 15 make sure to go to uh, sorry I didn't mean to do that just go to help and then click on check for update now this will make sure that you have the latest and the greatest version of Filmora installed on your computer which brings in more bug fixes as well as brings amazing performance now for me creating the video today is 12 uh, 14th of December uh, Filmora 15.1.1 is out so make sure you're using something um, closer to this version or maybe newer is better so once you're sure about this just um, click on the close but if you have any update then make sure you just update it to the latest version all right next what we will do is just check for our graphics settings in Filmora 15 because that is something very important for performance in Filmora 15 so for that just go to file and then click on preferences once you do that, you will be in the general um, tab here. You don't have to do much in here. What you we will we want you to do or what we want to do is go to performance and then make sure to enable hardware acceleration for video rendering and playback. Make sure this is enabled and enable hardware acceleration for video decoding. Make sure these two options are enabled. And then you can see here, select the graphics card in use. Just click on the drop down menu and select your dedicated graphics card. Now, if you can't see your dedicated graphics card here or if it is empty, then click on the start button here beside GPU check. Now, this will do a process where it will scan your system for any graphics chipset that is available for your computer. If you don't know which uh, what graphics card you have or which one is the graphics card that you should use, just right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager. Once task manager opens up, go to uh, performance. And here you will see if you have two graphics chipset or graphics cards, you will see GPU 0 and GPU 1. Mostly GPU 1 will be your um, dedicated graphics card. But for my system, I just only have one graphics chipset or graphics card. So there is no problem for me. I'll just select um, AMD Radeon RX 6600, which is my dedicated graphics card. So for you, it will be different. Maybe RTX 3060 or uh, 1080 Ti or whatever it is. Just make sure you select it and then scroll down and enable playback using latest rendering engine for better performance. This is something very important. Once all of that is done, click on apply. For you, you might have to you know, restart Filmora, there will be a dialog box over here, which um, stating that you have to restart Filmora to get the best performance. So make sure you just close it and then run Filmora again. And this will make sure um, the, you know, settings are done correctly. Third thing that we will be doing is using proxy settings. For that, let me import a file. It's real difficult for me to, uh, you know, play on my computer. So you can see here, create proxy file. Editing with smaller proxy clips will result in faster, smoother experience. So if you get this dialog box, always click on yes. What it will do, it will just do a process in the background. As you can see, there is a small, um, you know, loading a toggle or loading icon in the video. So make sure this is done 
completely. And once it is done completely, you can just drag this file over onto your uh, timeline. And then you can see that the video just plays back with no problem or whatsoever. But for me, with the God's grace and the power of my computer, I am able to run this video with no problem. But if you're facing playback issue, then make sure proxy file is um, you know, you enable the proxy file, you click on the yes, and then wait for this loading circle to be full. Once that is done, what? and you might, you might say, what will I do waiting for this circle to go full? Well, you can just call an old friend, text to your crush, or maybe enjoy a cup of coffee while you wait. But yes, just wait for it and it will be done. You will be able to run your video without any problem. Now, uh, the fourth thing that I have, I'm looking down because I have a, I have my iPad and I have some of the, um, you know, points that I'll be just uh, discussing. So yes, fourth, um, we are done with the proxy file, of course. Now, what we'll do is here, if you're facing some playback issue, like for example, if I'm just playing it here, you see some random and choppy performance while you're doing a, a playback. What you can do here is that click on the here you can see if it says full quality right click on the drop down menu and reduce the quality to maybe half or maybe one fourth what it will do here it will just show you the you know preview window it will show you the qual uh, show the video in a less uh you know quality than what it is like originally but this won't affect when you export the video it is just for playback um, performance is just for playback quality so if your system is not able to handle uh, full quality then make sure you use one uh, like half quality or maybe one by four this will eventually help the playback of the video with no problem whatsoever all right next what we have is to match the project settings um with the video file that you have for example right now the video that i have if i just right click on it and then go to properties uh, my video file is a 4k resolution video with 60 frames per second and bitrate is 8000 all right if i just go to file and click on the uh, project settings you can see my resolution is same as the file that I have it's 4k 60 frames per second and sampling rate you can use whatever you want so make sure the project setting matches with that of your video file it doesn't matter if you use a 4k video and then export it in maybe 2k or full HD there is no problem in that but make sure that your video files uh, or the video uh, settings matches with that of the project settings or else there will be problem you will face lags and stuff like that so this is something very important next the important thing storing the um, you know files for example the video that i have is this one right uh, this is the source file that i'll be using to edit or this will be the video file that i'll edit make sure it is located in an ssd if you store this file in a normal slow hdd and then try to edit it from there there you will face a lot of performance loss so make sure you uh, paste it or make sure to use a faster solid state drive like a normal ssd like sata ssd or nvme ssd if you don't know much about ssd plus google it you will gain a lot of knowledge about it so make sure you store your footages into a fast ssd for amazing or lossless performance next we have our graphics card now even though after doing all of these settings you are seeing that your uh, you know playback and all is not perfectly fine then what you can do is just go ahead and click on the start button go to settings and then click on windows update and make sure um Right now I have a security update, so make sure you check for updates and install the latest updates that is available for Windows. So once you are done with that, I want you to do is just check for your graphics card. Now, for example, like I said, just go to Task Manager, go to Performance, and you can see that my graphics card is AMD Radeon RX 6600. Just go to maybe Chrome and search for RX 6600 
latest driver search for it and then go to your specific um, website and just download the latest version of a driver that is available for your graphics card if you have nvidia you will be going to nvidia graphics card uh, nvidia website if you have intel you'll go to intel website now for me as i have amd radeon i'll go to amd website and just there you will find the latest driver and then install it on your system even though after doing all of these settings there are still problem while playing back then make sure your computer is powerful enough for doing all this kind of editing if we go to our filmora's uh, you know system requirements page we can see that it needs a minimum of intel 6th gen processor or if you're doing a 4k edit then maybe at least intel 9th gen cpu for 8k uh, video editing you need a core i9 10 gen processor ram you should have minimum 8 gigabytes for example for if you're doing uh, full hd or 4k editing 16 gigabytes is a must for 8k editing 32 gigabyte is <clears throat> you know hands down it is really important for a graphics card you know minimum is 1050 ti or later minimum vram should be four gigabytes 8k video editing you at least need an uh an rtx uh, 3000 series and amd radeon rx 6600 series this is something that you should really need to um you know edit your videos for example my computer my system <clears throat> has a i5 10 f processor 32 gigabytes of ram 500 gigabyte of nvme ssd and an RX um, 6600 graphics card with eight gigabytes of VRAM. So my computer is fine for doing all the kind of video editing and stuff. So make sure you have uh, these kind of resources for editing your computer well. These were some of the things that you should do to optimize uh, you know, performance in Filmora 15. If you have any sorts of problem or doubts, please let me know in the comment box down below. I reply to each and every one of you guys. If you hate me, just type in hate me. If you love me, just say, hey, I love your video things. You can say anything as such. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, if the first time you're watching my video and if you are one of the top 1% watching till now, then thank you. And please do consider subscribing as I bring in more videos related to Filmora. And like I said previously, less than 3% of you amazing people are subscribed to my channel, which is something very disappointing. But still, if you're, um, if you're watching till now, please consider subscribing. It just makes the world to me. Well, that's pretty much it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Until that day, take care.